the Internet of Things, IoT. It's, for me, it's the Internet of Everything. So it's everything that's connected to the Internet, be it um, washing machines or small sensors or cars or cities. It's just everything connected to the Internet. From a non-technical perspective, well, uh, it basically, I foresee that it's going to make my life really great, like science fiction becoming a reality. <laughs> I, you know, everything that I want, you know, the, there are so many objects around the town to actually make life just do it for me. Like I come home, the heater is already on, hopefully dinner is being cooked <laughs> and, and so forth. So I, I think it, it sort of takes living to the next level and that, that's how to me the Internet of Things is about. The uh, IoT industry has got a huge potential. We're at the cusp, we're right at the start. So that the technology and the standards are just coming into play. People are seeing the opportunity and the potential, so we're right at the cusp of huge changes. So the Internet of Things can drive huge benefits across the environment, business sustainability, healthcare, um, social benefits, and, and of course economic benefits. So you start to see things like um, sensors reporting people's medical health back to doctors and improving their healthcare, or uh, farmers running their farms more efficiently because they've got way more information coming from all over their farm and telling them how to, how to be more productive. And you have 10 people talking in a room, well, you generally have, okay, you know, you can hear each other. If you have 100 people talking in a room, well, you can, well, you get noisier. If you have a million people talking in a room, that's what you're going to get in the Internet of Things, right? If you have a million devices all trying to talk at the same time, Right, so that, that, those are going to be the challenges when it comes to wireless communications and all that. So IoT is such a new thing really, we've been talking about it for a while, but it's really as the standards come into play, there'll be some changes of regulations needed, there'll be collaborations across different industries that are needed, and, and these are the sort of the challenges, the things that'll hold it back if anything. So the, the better we are at the standards, getting them out there, the regulations, the collaboration, the sooner we can uh, take the advantage of IoT. In New Zealand to really propagate the adoption of IoT, to get more people using IoT, it's going to take a collaboration, it's going to take the carriers and the technology providers, uh, the people making the standards, it'll take the government because of regulation, and it'll take the leaders of industry to, to get together and understand um, what the opportunity is and where they should put their focus and, and where they should invest. I think the, the players now come from all directions, right? You, you need uh, you need government support, you need you know, the government to come in to say yes, this is the way to go, we're going to support it in whichever way we can. Uh, we need the industry to also come in, especially when it comes to like, standardisation, you know, because they are the ones who benefit most. And of course, you know, academics, researchers to actually uh, help in developing the technology, doing the research. And last but not least, I would say the most critical aspect of IoT are the users, like you and I. Because if we don't use the services, Right? You can build up millions of in things and it's just, it will just go to waste. These are the technologies that are evolving at such a fast pace that they're evolving exponentially. And uh, initially we don't notice that happening because uh, the, the bottom of the exponential curve is quite flat, but we're going into the hockey stick part of things like healthcare and, um, and education and, and energy and autonomous cars and all these things are driven by the IoT. And it's just going to be amazing what's coming in the next five to ten years.